Very good morning to you. Welcome to Our Bird Notes. This is Dwight Davis. We share a lot of birds with South America, and specifically the Amazon Basin. The colorful wood warblers will be heading that way soon, having nested in our forests. The summer and scarlet tanagers will winter in the jungle, too. But one bird stays in those Brazilian jungles, and that bird is the Huatzin, surely one of the oddest of the feathered tribe. Since most of us will never see this bird except in books, and since it is so curious and fascinating, we'll consider the Huatzin this morning. The name is spelled H-O-A-T-Z-I-N. It is of Aztec origin. Brazilians have another name for it. It is Shancho. By any name, it's strange. It has been called prehistoric in appearance. The Huatzin is about two feet long with a long neck, and a long tail. Feathers are mostly chestnut brown, underparts a pale buff. The eyes are bright red. The face, bare of any feathers, is bright blue. On its head is a disheveled crest of plumes, suggesting a bad hair day, or a bad feather day, I suppose. And the genus name reflects this. It means wearing long hair behind. Watsines eat mostly leaves. Now, leaves offer much less nutrition than many other foods, so the birds have to eat a lot of leaves. To accommodate this diet, Huatzins have an enormous crop, a muscular pouch taking up most of the anterior part of the body. This allows little room for musculature for the wings, and as a result, the bird is a very weak flyer. A 50-yard flight for a Huatzin is a long trip. Bacteria in the crop help digest and ferment the leaves, but the process also causes a foul odor. The Watsin is called a stink bird, for good reason. But wait, there's more, as they say in the TV commercials. The bird lives and nests in trees in the jungle swamps. The nest is a flimsy affair, a loose collection of sticks that makes one fear for the eggs. The young hatch with claws on the front of the wings. Yes, claws. When alarmed, the young bail out of the nest into the water below, swim downstream, and then emerge once the danger is past, and use the claws to climb back through the branches to the nest. The claws eventually disappear when the young birds fledge. The wrist joint of the Huatzin is very similar to that of certain dinosaurs, and the claws are very similar to the claws that appear in the fossil of the Archaeopteryx, suggesting strongly the reptile ancestry of birds. So, is the Huatzin a living fossil, to use the common, imprecise newspaper term? Well, maybe, but it's hard to know, in part because the bird's classification is hard to pin down. Even in this day of DNA analysis, scientists are still not sure where it fits among the birds. The genetic evidence is inconclusive. The Huatzin is the only species in its genus and the only genus in its family. So, where it fits, we're still not sure. The Huatzin is one weird bird. If ever I take a trip down the Amazon, I'll make every effort to see one firsthand, just to make sure somebody didn't make this bird up. 